Thanks for joining us. I'm Marlon Bowling with you. And each week at this time, we like to venture over toward the Mid-Atlantic region. And we check in with Ben Hushen. He is with The Mill in Whitehall, Maryland. And we have him on the line right now to give us an update on what's going on with agriculture in that part of the country. Always good to hear from you, Ben. How's the weather been treating you, and what are the farmers up to this week? Good morning, Marlon. Since we talked this time last week, we had two more snow events, uh, and we kept wondering what was going to happen. Uh, you know, we hear Midwest has some big concerns. I've seen that on your television show or your channel uh, about what's what with the deep freeze. We've been protected. Uh, we didn't have the extreme weather. We had this nice snow cover that's been here well over a month, uh, which is not typical for our part of the country. And then it all washed away Sunday night into Monday. Uh, so we finally got a chance to take a look at our wheat. Uh, we got some folks uh, out this morning. We had some frozen ground. Got some folks out this morning getting that first application on. Because Marlon, with the opportunity in uh, wheat grain prices right now, it's time to get that first application on and we can finally see whether we got any weeds and get started to roll this week. Looks good, honestly. It looks really good. Is it too late to do any soil sampling out there? Well, we're big supporters of fall, early winter soil sampling, and, and it isn't wrong to do spring sampling. Um, you just the, the recommendations from the soil labs we work with all say be consistent. You know, if you normally take them in the fall, don't suddenly one year grab spring samples. And we had an open fall. Um, all the all the soil samples that really needed to be done got done. There has been some late last minute, uh, I call it last minute, switches of land renters, et cetera, which always causes a few spring uh, needs, but uh, now if you've never sampled, you just bought a farm. There's nothing wrong with sampling now, but if you're if you're on a sampling program, you typically want to stay to the same season as possible. Good advice. Well, Ben, thank you for all the information and for the update today. We look forward to our chat next week too. Ben Hushen of the Mill in Whitehall, Maryland, joining us this morning. We'll take a look now at our grain prices. How are they doing? Well, we actually sold off for about the first 10 minutes of the day, and then we rebounded basically about ever since. So look at this. May corn now three and three quarters higher at 542 after a low of 531 and a half. So we have rebounded over a dime off of that early low this morning. And December new crop corn is now three and a quarter cents higher at 472 within two ticks of our high of the day right now. All right, with our quotes provided by Bar Chart, the May soybeans are now 11 and a quarter higher at 14.02 and a half. That's a 22 cent rebound from our earlier low this morning. So that's quite a rebound. Also, if we look at the wheat market, now the wheat started out higher and it's just adding to it now. So we have May wheat in Chicago, 14 and a quarter higher now at 6.64 and a half. That's within about a penny and a quarter of its high of the day. July is up 11 cents. In Kansas City, May wheat up 11 at 6.34 and a quarter, and July up 10 and a quarter cents. Minneapolis spring wheat trade has the May quoted nine and three quarters higher at 6.43 and a quarter, while the July is up nine and a half cents right now. Cotton has had some big moves this week, but uh, settling back today, May down 85 points at 90.72. We'll come back in a moment. I'll get you updated on our livestock trade right after this.